Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, Blue Liquor Shields, Desley, Service Cousins, Vassals, Minions. Did I forget anybody? I don't think so. Oh, you! And Appa Goo Goo. Today, I have a uh, special presentation, a discussion I want to do under the auspices of the Weisenheimer Foundation, a uh, think tank on geopolitical affairs. So, anyway, uh, today, uh, I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And I want to talk about Iraq. Uh, because now we have ISIS uh, having the city of Baghdad in somewhat of a noose to the uh, south and west of Baghdad. We now have Iraqi forces have abandoned the military uh, base that hit in the Anbar province. And uh, ISIS has taken town after a two-week siege. And uh, so now they control Hit, uh, which is just north of Ramadi, and they uh, control Fallujah, which is just south of Ramadi. And Ramadi is the capital of Ambar, and uh, so now they have uh, they can uh, uh, take offenses against uh, Ramadi from uh, two sides, and uh, we also have uh, the, the Iraqi government still in control uh, of the of the Haditha Dam in this region as well. So uh, we have two key elements in that in province of uh, this capital city of Ramadi, as well as the Haditha Dam, and other than that, ISIS controls. 80% of Ambar, of course, 80, uh, a lot of Ambar is uh, desert, so 80% of Ambar is relative. And uh, we also have uh, very ominously warnings uh, that Ramadi could fall in two weeks. And uh, we see this kind of timetable uh, all over uh, the region. And uh, half the provinces, uh, 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 1.5 million have uh, fled these uh, regions. And... Um, so half the population has uh, essentially uh, been displaced already from that region. And uh, during this campaign, uh, Iraq military has already lost over 5,000 killed uh, just in the last six months. So uh, these ISIS offenses are definitely taking their toll. But I'm going to go back to this uh, point about uh, this warning that Ramadi could fall in two weeks. Uh, well, the problem I'm having here is I'm looking at the timetable that the United States uh, strategy has, and look at the, at the timetable that ISIS seems to have. And the fact that we're getting warnings that Ramadi could fall in two weeks is a much quicker timetable than uh, what the United States seems to be on talking about months, years, and decades. So uh, I think we need a little focus here. And uh, this also brings into mind the fact that we have ISIS uh, pressing from the north as well, and uh, apparently they're very close to the uh, international airport, uh, which could be very problematic uh, for uh, the, the Baghdad and uh, the United States and the Iraqi government, and, um, and, and also the fact that we have uh, ISIS forces essentially moving into the suburbs of Baghdad as we speak, something like eight miles out, uh, I understand. So, what is going to be the fate of Iraq if we have uh, ISIS on a timetable where Ramadi could fall in two weeks? Uh, we've seen that Kobani uh, fell, or is going to fall, very uh, quickly, relatively speaking. And then we have uh, Mosul. Uh, one general, uh, U.S. general commented, and I think it was General Dempsey, who mentioned the fact that uh, they don't think there's going to be a counterattack against Mosul until next year. Where, do, where does the United States foreign policy think ISIS will be in a year uh, at this rate? So uh, I think we also have to take into the fact that uh, not only is uh, ISIS almost completely taken over uh, the uh, Ambar province, uh, we have a, a couple of potential um, strategic plays here, uh, control the Haditha Dam in attacking the uh, international airport in Baghdad. And that's without even entering uh, into the city and the kind of chaos that they could create uh, before entering the city um, could be pretty uh, uh, devastating when you look at uh, cutting off power, uh, cutting off uh, power with the Haditha Dam. And uh, so anyway, um, there we have it. Uh, the ISIS, I think uh, the, the lesson I'm taking away from this is that we have ISIS on a much quicker timetable. Uh, than the United States and coalition forces. So one has to uh, bring into question once again 
Uh, what exactly is the U.S. strategy? Uh, if their strategy is to fail and for ISIS to take over uh, Iraq completely and uh, attack Baghdad, then I think the strategy is a, is a success. And uh, so, uh, once again, the, these events seem to be unfolding fairly quickly, and we could be seeing some uh, dramatic inroads uh, to Baghdad. And I, I've read some uh, some puns and speculation articles that talk about uh, they feel like a, an attack on Baghdad itself is unlikely, but I feel otherwise, um, and, and think that uh, the chaos that could could be unleashed potentially uh, with the ISIS siege of uh, Baghdad um, could be uh, one of the biggest spectacles of our lifetime. Without going into all the other um, uh, events that I could talk about when uh, these uh, this uh, narrative unfolds, I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too?